Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm starting the problem on clubbing of income, integration of income, aggregation of income. Last video I have explained you in detail regarding the provisions of clubbing of income of an individual with another person's income. Normally a person is liable to pay tax on his own income but sometimes a person is liable to tax not only on his own income but on the income of another person. That means other person's income should also be included in the income of the SSC and we have to a SSC has to pay the tax that is called clubbing provision and income tax act has given the provisions regarding clubbing of income in section 60 to 65. So what are the different special circumstances in which the other person's income is included? Already I have explained you in the last video. So if you have not watched the last video, please go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced aspect of income tax. Watch the video regarding clubbing of income or aggregation of income. You can be able to I mean, understand what are the provisions regarding clubbing of income, when the incomes will be clubbed. In examination very frequently a theory question may also be asked regarding aggregation of income. Now in this video I'm going to solve two problems on aggregation of income. So before starting the problem take a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout and keep it ready. First of all take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board for these two problems so that you can have a permanent copy of the solution of these problems and before examination you can brush up, you can revise those problems. Take a screenshot then I'll explain all the points. <clears throat> Come on, see the first problem. During the previous year, 2021, Mr. Karunakar Reddy is having taxable income of his personal is 11,56,000. So 11,56,000 is the total income presently of Mr. Karunakar Reddy. And calculate the tax liability for the assessment year 21-22 after considering the following. So three cases are there. First case. He has transferred foreign company shares to his wife. She received a dividend of 2,86,000. That means Karunakar Reddy has purchased the shares of a foreign company in the name of wife without any consideration. The last video I have explained you when an SSC transfers any asset in the name of wife without consideration or inadequate consideration then the income generated in the name of wife is included in the name of the husband. Here also same thing, Karunakar Reddy has purchased the shares in the name of wife without consideration of a foreign company shares. The dividend received will be included in the income of Karunakar Reddy. How much dividend she received? 286,000. So here you can see transfer of shares. Dividend on foreign company share is taxable income. The shares are transferred to wife without any consideration. Hence, whatever income wife received, that is taxable in the hands of transferer Karuna Karadi. So, 286,000 income is clubbed with the income of Mr. Karuna Karadi. First point completed. Second point, he has transferred 13% debentures of a limited company rupees 5 lakh. Face value rupees 4 lakh 10,000 to his friend Mr. Javid on the condition that transferer Karunakar Reddy will receive interest during his lifetime and thereafter the transferee Javid. Karunakar Reddy has purchased the debentures. He has purchased the debentures and given the debentures to his friend Mr. Javid on the condition that during the lifetime of Karunakar Reddy Karuna Karaddi will enjoy the interest on those debentures. So after the death of Karuna Karaddi, then the income will be enjoyed by Javid transferee. So Income Tax Act says throughout the life, who is enjoying the benefit? The transfer Karuna Karaddi. 
so whatever income generated on this debentures is taxable in the hands of SSC Karuna Karnadi, not Javid. Huh, Javid will be taxable only after the death of Karuna Karnadi. Transfer debentures. In this case, asset is transferred without transferring the income. Hence, debenture interest 13% of 410,500300 is included in the income of in the income of Mr. Karunakar Reddy. Third case, on 1st August 2010, he has transferred a commercial complex to his friend Mr. Divakar on the condition that building will revert back to Karunakar Reddy after the death of Divakar. That means Karunakar Reddy has purchased purchased a commercial complex and transferred in the name of Divakar on the condition that the income from this building will be enjoyed by Divakar throughout the, his life. After the death of the transferee, then the property will be reverted back to the transferer Karunakar Reddy. That means during the lifetime of Divakar, the income will be enjoyed by Divakar only. By Divakar only. So Income Tax Act says the income will not be included in the name of the transferer. The income is taxable in the hands of the transferee. In the hands of the transferee because after the death of Divakar, then only it will be reverted back to Karunakar Reddy. So here the income will not be clubbed with Karunakar Reddy. The income is taxable in the hands of Divakar. So the Transfer of commercial complex. The asset is transferred to his friend, but during the lifetime of Mr. Divakar, it is irrevocable transfer. During the throughout the life of Divakar, it is not revocable. It will be revoked only after the death of Divakar. So income from this uh, house, 7,50,0 is taxed in the hands of Mr. Divakar. It is not taxable in the hands of the uh, SSC, Karuna Karnad. That's what the only three points are given. Now we have to find out the tax liability. First of all, total income. His individual income is given first line 11,56,000 is the income of Karuna Karadi. To this income, other person's income will be included. Example, the income of wife. Wife's income, that 2,86,000 will be included. So add up. Apart from that, transfer of debentures. Transfer of debentures to Javid. That will also be included, 53,000. 300. So total income is 14,95,300. This is the total income of Karuna Karaddi. Now what is the tax liability? Slab system. First slab up to 2,50,000. Income 2,50,000 nil. Second slab 2,50,000. 1 to 5 lakh. Income is 2,50,000. 5%. 12,500. From 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh. It is 5 lakh rupees income. 20% tax. So 1 lakh rupees is the tax. Over balance, yani over 10 lakh rupees. Over 10 lakh rupees, whatever balance is there, 30% is the rate of tax. So 14,95,300 minus 10 lakhs. The balancing figure is 4,95,300, 30%. 148,500. Take the total 2,61,090. This is the tax on total income. Add health and education cess, 4% of this amount. Tax liability. 2,71,534 So rounded off to nearest 10 rupees So 34 means we will round it off to 30 rupees That's all So ultimately the tax liability is 2,71,530 That's all This is the first problem Now second Second problem Sri Surender Singh of UP 45 years of age furnish the following particulars of income and other related points compute total income for the assessment year 21 22. Only total income we have to find salary income 7,28,000. The in uh, SSC is Sri Sundar Singh. His income from salary 7,28,000. Wife Srimati Anup Devi owns the business but it is managed by Surinder Singh. Sundar Singh. Loss from the business is 1,2,000. A business which is, uh, I mean, owned by wife but it is completely managed by the ssc sundar singh income tax act says when the income when the business is managed by the ssc sundar singh then any profit or loss from the business will be clubbed will be clubbed with the income of sundar singh because the business is only in the name sake it is in the name of the wife 
बट कंप्लीटली इट विल बी मैनेज बाय सुंदर सिंह तो द बिजनेस बिलोंग्स टू सुंदर सिंह ओनली तो एनी इनकम और लॉस ऑफ दट बिजनेस विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द नेम ऑफ सुंदर सिंह हियर वी हैव लॉस लॉस फ्रॉम बिजनेस बट लॉस फ्रॉम बिजनेस कैन नॉट बी सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम सैलरी इनकम हाँ इट कैन बी सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम अदर इनकम नेक्स्ट सन यू हैव रिटर्न इनकम फ्रॉम वाइफ एज द बिजनेस इज मैनेज बाय द एस एस सी सुंदर सिंह द इनकम और लॉस ऑफ वाइफ शैल बी क्लब्ड विद द इनकम बट बिजनेस लॉस कैन नॉट बी सेट ऑफ अगेंस्ट इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी जस्ट नाउ इट यू बिजनेस लॉस कैन नॉट बी सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी इट कैन बी सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम एनी अदर इनकम नेक्स्ट सन मिस्टर प्रदीप सिंह हैज टेन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फिक्सड डिपॉजिट इन पंजाब नेशनल बैंक ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व लैख डेट ऑफ बर्थ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड टू तो डेट ऑफ बर्थ ऑफ द सन इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड टू नाउ यू टू सी वेदर ड्यूरिंग द करंट प्रीवियस इयर इज ही ए माइनर और इज ही बिकम ए मेजर वी आर टू फाइंड आउट then income is 10.5% of 12 lakh that is the income so first of all date of attaining the status of major when he is becoming major what is your date of birth 25th july 2002 plus 18 years so after 18 years he will become major so what is the date of majority 25th july 2002 plus 18 years so it will become 25th July 2020, 2002 plus 18 is 2020. So on 25th July 2020, the son will become major. Our current previous year begins from 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. This is our current previous year, and he became major on 25th July 2020. Current previous year only the son has become major. So how many months are there in which he is minor, and how many months he is major? Our year begins from first April. So April, May, June, July. On twenty seventh, twenty fifth July he became major. So four months. April, May, June, July. These four months the sun is a minor. Remaining eight months the sun is a major. So after attaining the majority, the income is taxable in the hands of sun. but before attaining majority during minority period the income earned will be clubbed with the parent sundar singh now minority period is from 1st april 2020 to 31st july 2020 4 months so income for 4 months the rate of interest is 10.5% of 12 lakh so 10.5% of 12 lakh into 4 by 12 42000 So forty-two thousand rupees is the income of the minor, and this forty-two thousand rupees will be included in the income of the Sundar Singh, that means father's income. Rupees forty-two thousand shall be included in the name of father, that is Sundar Singh. After attaining majority, that is eight months, shall be taxed in the hands of son Pradeep Singh. Remaining eight months income that is taxable in the hands of son. Next. Fourth point: Qualified saving under Section 80C and donations permitted at 100% under Section 80G. These are the deductions allowed from gross total income. So while computing the total income, we consider these deductions. Last point: Ten years back, he deposited five lakh fifty thousand twelve percent fixed deposit in Syndicate Bank in the name of his employee, Mr. Das Munshi. His age fifty one years. this is a book entry in the books of accounts that means only a book entry and a, a transaction which is there only on paper that he has deposited 5 lakh 50000 12% rate of interest fixed deposit in the name of his employee das munshi so actually this transaction is only on the paper it is called benami transaction the transaction which is simply in the name uh, in the on paper only but real beneficiary is the person who made the transaction the ssc sundar singh has passed this transaction so any income arising on benami transaction is taxable in the hands of the person who passed the transaction so here deposit in the name of employee mr das munshi 
It's a case of Benami transaction. Hence, interest on fixed deposit at 12% becomes taxable income in the hands of transferor. That's it. In the hands of the transferor. Now, computation of total income. Finally, it is asking you to calculate the total income of Sundar Singh. The income from salary is 7,28,000 given in the form of first line. Now, income of minor son. Minor son's income is 42,000 before attaining majority. 42,000. Then, income on Benami transaction. Benami transaction, 12% of 5,50,000. 12% of 5,50,000, 66,000. Now you add up 42 plus 66, 1 lakh 8,000 is the other income. From this other income, business loss can be set off. The business loss is 1 lakh 2,000. The 1 lakh 2,000 business loss set off, the income is 6,000. Now you add up 7 lakh 28 plus 6, 7 lakh 34,000 is the gross total income. It is called GTI. 7,34,000 is the GTI, gross total income. Now from GTI, deductions are given in the problem. Deductions, qualified saving under section 80C, 1,25,000. Donations under section 80G, 21,000. So total deductions are 1,46,000. Deduct 1,46,000 from 7,34,000. 5,88,000 is the total income of Mr. Sundar Singh. That's it. So these are the two problems on clubbing or integration of income. Inshallah next video we'll start the next topic called set off and carry forward of losses. That will take up in the next video. But before that I have started a new channel by name Hans Accounting Institute. So a new channel I have started for IGCSC students. So you too can gain from that uh, uh, channel by watching the videos. Very knowledgeable videos I have uploaded there. So do visit the new channel also. Subscribe my new channel by name Hans Accounting Institute. Inshallah, we'll continue this in the next video, the next topic called set off and carry forward of losses.